Hey guys! Today we're going to talk about the nitty gritty of Wagner Cove in Central Park. We will cover both the advantages and disadvantages of this location. Let's get started. Welcome to Jackie and Sasha, the New York City elopement team, where we give you tips, post videos, and chat about all things wedding here in the Big Apple. If you are new to our channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Jackie and Sasha. Wagner Cove is this little romantic and secluded spot tucked away at the south end of the lake in Central Park. It's just a short walk into the park from the West 72nd Street entrance. When couples talk about Wagner Cove, they're usually referring to the cute wooden pavilion-like structure that is located in that area. You can get to Wagner Cove by car, subway, or rickshaw. The closest entrance to Wagner Cove is located at 72nd Street and Central Park West. There you'll find rickshaws waiting to take you anywhere in the park. Now cars are not allowed inside the park, so you'll expect to find a short 10 to 15 minute scenic walk to get you to Wagner Cove. The B and C trains stop at the park at 72nd Street. You can also take the one, two, or three trains to 66th or 72nd Street. Both stops are just a couple blocks off the park. Wagner Cove is located below street level, so you have to take a set of rustic stone stairs to the bottom of the lake. For most of us, it's not a problem since there are handrails. However, it might not be the most ideal spot for grandma, baby strollers, or in the winter time when the stairs are covered in snow. There's also a small dirt path that is leading to Wagner, but that one gets muddy in bad weather and it's not quite ideal to walk in heels. Wagner Cove is one of our favorite spots in the park and probably one of the most secluded. Overall, the area is hidden from most sidewalks, so onlookers aren't really an issue. The only visitors you might have are the birds chirping in the trees or squirrels, and chances are good you're gonna spot a turtle swimming in the lake. In theory, you're not required to have a permit for Wagner Cove. Having said that, we always recommend applying for one anyways. Wagner Cove is one of the most popular spots to get married in Central Park. By getting a permit, you're securing the date and time you would like to use the space for your wedding. Sure, you could chance it without a permit, but for just $25, which is the fee for the permit, you don't have to worry that someone else has already booked the pavilion for that same day and time. Also, by obtaining a permit, it allows us to ask people nicely to leave since we reserve the space with the Parks Department. Don't worry, Team Ranking will handle asking people to leave. You can apply for a permit online and we will post the link where you can do that below this video. Getting a permit is quite easy and definitely helpful. Wagner Cove is a great option, rain or shine. The structure is small, however. It is perfect during some light rain, and it's even more beautiful when the sun comes out. Wagner Cove is a special spot to have an elopement ceremony. It's a natural setting with a stone path that leads you to the wooden structure on the lake it's covered with trees, and it's fairly private from onlookers. The structure and the surrounding area are on the smaller side, so we suggest this spot for smaller elopements. More than 10 guests could start to feel like a crowd. You should also consider the guests attending since there are uneven stairs that take you down to Wagner Cove. Strollers and the elderly might have a hard time, and in the wintertime, the stairs could be covered in snow. Wagner Cove is easy to get to and is close to many other iconic locations in Central Park. After the ceremony, you'll be able to make your way to other gorgeous spots in the park for the most amazing photos. That wraps it up. 
the nitty gritty of Wagner Cove in Central Park. As always, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions that come up. We are always happy to help. Until next time. Do you have a question about what we've covered in this video? Or maybe you have a suggestion on a topic we should tackle next. Leave us a comment below and we'll get on it. Click on the subscribe button to our channel and check out some of our other videos with helpful tips and tricks when tying the knot in New York City.